In this video, I'm going to make a new LaTeX project and upload that project to the GitHub repository, which I will create for it. So to begin with, let's open up a terminal and let's go into NeoFem. And so this is gonna start me off in the home folder. And so I can see that by doing space E, which opens the Explorer. And this allows me a convenient way to navigate my folder structure and to find a place for this new project. So I'm going to put in papers here, and I'm gonna do that by shift A for adding a new directory, and let's call this test. Okay, and then inside test, I'm gonna do A for a new file, and I'm gonna call this test.tech, which is gonna be the central LaTeX file. So let's open that up. Okay, so I'm hitting enter and space E to close the Explorer. Okay, so let's add some content to this. So I'm gonna draw on the templates which I have here. So this is in T inside which key. And so hitting T, I have a few options to choose from which I've added. Um, it's easy to customize all of these um, or add or add new ones. Um, but let's do P for fill paper. Okay, so there it is. And let's save this with spacebar, what I have under right, so W. Okay, so I've saved this new file um, which we have right here. Um, let's quit out of this, so space Q, and let's go into that project folder. So I'm gonna do CD and navigate to it, documents, philosophy, papers, test, and just to make sure, there's my one file. Okay, so I'm now ready to make a repository. So let's go into my repositories, and I'm gonna create a new repository. Let's call this test. Okay, and I'm gonna leave this one public, um, though you could make it private if you so choose. I'm not going to create a readme, and, uh, and I don't need a description. Create repository. Okay, so it's gonna give me these little instructions. It's gonna tell me, okay, go into your project folder and initialize git. So I'm gonna do just that. I, I'm in my project folder, I'm gonna say git init. Okay, and so fish here, which is my terminal shell, is registering that I'm on the master branch um, and that so far um, I'm not tracking anything. So I could continue here by saying git commit and then leave a little message um, doing that all manually, but you can do this inside NeoVim. So going back inside NeoVim, um, let's uh, open up that past file. So I can just scroll down here to four. Um, okay, so here's my file and let's there it is inside um, the folder tree. So now notice all the other files are gone because it's just looking inside the project folder and that's that's useful. So let's go space GG and sure enough here is the single file we have in our project folder and by hitting spacebar I'm going to add that file. Okay so I'm ready to commit so I'm going to hit C and say initial commit. Okay and so that registers a little commit message. My first commit down here Notice I have question marks up here because this I've not yet initialized um, the Git repository, but we're about to do that. Um, so let's open up, let's quit out of this again. Um, so the next thing we can do is Git remote add origin. I'm using SSH um, because I have entered an SSH key into this computer, so I don't have to add my, um, type in my password when I'm doing private repositories. Um, but you can also do HTTPS if you like. Um, okay, so I'm gonna select this and put this right here. Okay, and let's check to make sure that worked. So git remote-v, and sure enough, it has a fetch and push. Okay, so that's just what I wanted. Um, let's go back into NeoVim, and I'm going to, um, so let's open that folder again, so four, and um, let's go space GG. Okay, so now let's push this file. So do shift P. And it's gonna ask me on the first time that I push, is this where you wanna push it? And yes, that is where I wanna push it. Um, I could have achieved this by typing in this command in the terminal, but this, this works fine. Um, okay, so I've pushed, notice these question marks have gone away and it tells me I'm up to date with my file on GitHub. So to see that, let's go over here and reload Git, and sure enough, test shows up 
and this is the template which I dropped into this file. Okay, so that, um, that initializes the repository. Let's go back to the project folder. Um, there's a few more files which I find it convenient to add. So to do that, I can go over here and do add. Let's do um, a scrap file. And that one I'm gonna make a tech file as well. Let's also add a outline. Um, and that I'm gonna make a markdown, so MD. And one last file, let's do um, to do dot MD, also marked down. Okay, so I have a few more files here and let's open them all up. Um, so hop back in here. Okay, and close this out. Okay, so now I can tab, tab through all of these. Um, let's also scroll down to the natural point in the document. Um, Okay, so now it would be nice to be able to just return exactly here, so I don't have to keep reopening all these tabs or scrolling down to the bottom of the document. And that's what a session allows you to do. So to save a session, I'm gonna do space, and now in sessions down here, I'm gonna do capital S, okay? And then I have just two options, so I'm gonna save, so S. And it's gonna ask me a name, I'm gonna say test. Okay, and that's it. So let's close this, space Q, and let's reopen. Um, okay, and so now we see test is down here, so let's hit four, and it brings me to the same point I was, uh, I was last at inside the document. Um, okay, so that's very useful, just to see that it does take me to the, the point I was last at. Um, let's quit out of here, so spin Q and reopen and four. And so here I am inside outline instead of where I w was last time inside test. So it, it keeps updating it wherever you leave off, um, which is very convenient. Okay, so the last piece to do, if we go back into Explorer, notice these question marks over here. So that tells me that Git is aware of these files, but it's not tracking them. Um, whereas, say if I make a change here, so let's add a new line, um, and let's save that. So if I go back into here, it tells me, okay, this file has been modified since its last commit, whereas these ones are merely untracked. Okay, so let's um, add those files. So to do that, I'm gonna go back inside G for git and G for lazy git, so GG. And I'm gonna commit this main file, which I've just added one line. And then these, I'm gonna also hit spacebar to add each of them. And C for commit, say, added project files. Okay. So now it tells me I've made one commit on my local machine since my last push. And that's registered here in red. It tells me what this commit consisted of. Um, yeah. So in order to push this to, so just to confirm, let's reload this. Sure enough, just one file in here. Okay, so now I'm gonna do Shift P for push. And it's going to update my online repository. And so, Sure enough, it says zero, zero, um, I'm up to date. And there it is, there's all the files I just created. Okay, let's create some things to do. So say I happen to be on another computer and I go online and I think of some, some nice things to add to my paper. Um, so this is a markdown document, so I can say to do, so I can use the markdown syntax. And let's say uh, this is the first item to do. Okay, that's it, that's all I wanna add. I'm gonna commit those changes. Um, and there's there's my little markdown document so far. I could keep editing this if I wanted. Um, but let's go back to the project folder. Okay, so back inside my local machine, um, let's quit out of this, and let's go back into lazy git, so gg. And notice that now it says one right here. So that tells me that the repository online is has one commit ahead of where this current file is. And of course, you know, changing it sort of manually on the online repository is one way to do that. Another way is say if I'm at work and I have a different machine which I'm pushing changes, perhaps substantive changes to my tech document and so on. I push those to the online repository. Then I come back home to my local machine. I wanna pull those down. I can do lowercase p and it's pulling 
and it's going to add this last commit to my commit history. Um, and says this is this is all it shows the lines I've added. So just to see that, let's tab over to to do, and sure enough, it added those lines. Okay, so that gives you the basics on how to keep your file up to date, um, and how to uh, create a project file. Um, and we notice over here, everything is good. There's no question marks. Uh, there's no modifications. Um, and so that that is the basics on how to set up set up a file and link it with an online repository.